Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to use the CLS or Cloud Logging System in SAP Commerce Cloud. In SAP Commerce Cloud, the Cloud Logging System is based on the OpenSearch centralized logging mechanism. Out of the box, predefined data collectors or agents are installed on all the services, including the storefront, back office, background processing, Apache servers, Solar servers, etc. The predefined agents are continuously collecting all service-related logs, which are sent to the underlying database. That database is then made available to the CLS. In Cloud Portal, I'll choose an environment, for example, the staging environment. Then I'll scroll to the bottom and click on the logging URL in the monitoring panel. This will redirect to the CLS dashboards. I'll click on the left menu, then choose Discover. You will now see all the logs for the staging environment. At this point, I'm a bit overwhelmed by the amount of logging data presented to me. But what if I'm only interested in the back office logs? In that case, I can add a filter that pairs down the list to only logs related to back office. Add a field containing Kubernetes labels CCV2 CX SCP COM platform aspect is back offers to the filter. Notice that it now lists all the logs related to back offers. Alternatively, I can also choose the field directly from the available fields. This will have the same effect. These logs still look complicated though. Is there a way to make them look more like the console logs? When I choose logs message from the available fields, the logs now look like the common console logs, don't they? But please keep in mind that some logs don't contain log messages at all. These are usually Apache logs. To further clean up my list of logs, I can exclude Apache logs by adding another filter. Logs message exist. It's important I don't forget to click on the save button. I can now see all the logs related to back office. I can further filter the logs by using DQL or dashboard query language. For example, I can type the condition logs level error to see only the error logs. It shows there wasn't any error log generated in the last 15 minutes. But when we change it to the last 24 hours, a day's worth of error logs appear. Currently, the dashboard only shows the logs for the last 24 hours, but it's possible to set different dates and time ranges. I can configure either an absolute date and time range, or a relative time range. I can also use the quick select wizard to choose one of the commonly used time ranges or a recently used time range. Furthermore, I can enable the auto refresh feature. For example, my dashboard gets refreshed every five seconds if I click on the start button. It's also possible to find the logs related to specific services directly on the Cloud Portal GUI. For instance, I can do this by first clicking on the specific service. Then on the service page, I can click the logs link to select the specific node. Here, a dedicated filter has been applied to the dashboard, so it now shows only the logs related to this node. I can then repeat the earlier steps to filter out Apache logs and make the log entries look like console logs. If you want to access the deployment logs, Go to a specific environment. Click on History and select one of the deployments from the list. Click on the three dots to open a new browser tab with the deployment log records. Here, all necessary filters have been applied. In CLS, I can also create custom dashboards with dedicated visualization. For simplicity, let me quickly import an example.
the example file contains predefined dashboards. Here, I imported a dashboard called SAP Commerce Cloud's Access Log, which contains three visualization components, a pie chart based on different HTTP statuses, a time series chart with different HTTP status codes, and a list of access logs. But this is just an example, and you can create far more complex dashboards and visualization components in real life. All your environment logs are saved in dedicated Azure Blob Storage. Normally, these logs will be kept for 90 days in a production environment and for 30 days in dev and staging environments. You can use the cloud portal to access details of this storage, which you can then use to download raw log files. Let's now go to the staging environment. In the cloud storage section, click on the logs link. Here you can get the account name and public key of the Azure Block Storage. With this information, you can connect to the Azure Block Storage and download the zipped logs for further analysis. These are the major points regarding the cloud logging system based on OpenSearch in SAP Commerce Cloud. Thanks for watching.